Howdy folks. I don't normally do Warframe build videos. It's not normally my cup of tea, but I have been working on a build that another big YouTuber did by the name of um that by the name of Ken Ken Kengineer. And it's to do about Nordless. Uh Nordless or Carrier Prime or various other frames that have some group AoE abilities and Verglass. Now Verglass is in all honesty a, it's a very underrated weapon, but with the new edition of Bane mods, you can make Verglass a very powerful weapon. Now what I mean by that is it all it's all gonna come down to what frame you're using. Now, as you can see here, I am using Hydralon Prime. There is no Tau Forge. There's no shards. No shards in this build. So if you don't have any Tau Forge shards yet or anything, you can get Hydralon Prime uh, from the Warframe Marketplace. Uh, just go to put go go bring up Google, type in Warframe Marketplace, and then just type in Hydralon Prime set. You can usually pick her up for about 35, 40 plat. On average, uh, uh, I got her after she she came unvaulted. So, you know, is what it is. Now, her weapons really aren't the thing you need to worry about. Now, let me explain. What I mean by that is the build that we're doing in Hydralon, like always, is we're basing it around her shields. Okay, her shields, her shield stripping abilities, and her defense stripping abilities. Okay, understand this. She is a tank that can strip, but the downside about her is she doesn't have a lot of um, offensive skills and abilities. The majority of her abilities are all about shields. So if you're coming up against creatures like the the um, um like if you're coming across the flood, and I'm sorry, I've always called them the flood. If you're coming across the flood, if you're a Halo player or the Zerg, if you're a Starcraft player, they don't have shields. They do have armor. Okay, so your pillage ability will work, but it will not give you the return it would as if you were fighting Corpus or if you were fighting uh, Grineer. Now, so. All I've done is I've swapped out her fourth ability, where basically she becomes a power ranger, start flying around and shooting stuff. Really cool to see it for the first time, but after like the, the second or third, it gets boring. I've swapped it out for Zeta's Whisper. Now, the reason why I've done that is for the additional uh, uh, um, damage proc. What I mean by that is that 53% da extra damage is for both weapons but not abilities. Please understand that it's not for abilities. It's only for her weapon. Now, I did say that it, this this build isn't about her weapon, and it isn't. But the whip, weapon that I've chosen is the Ferox. And the reason why I went with the Ferox is because, well, frankly, it is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. And you're thinking, how? Okay, I'll explain. It's all about your upgrades. Yes, I do happen to have a Riven mod. You can do this without a Riven mod, but this was a god roll Riven mod for me. The fact it's got neg crit, you're thinking, how can it be powerful if it's got neg crit? The Ferox is an Incarnan weapon. It's an Incarnan shotgun that turns into two dual pistols. Now, the reason why I you need that is because one of the Incarnon's abilities is if its crit rate is below a certain amount or it doesn't crit at all, you have a 50% chance of doing five, I think it's like five, five million damage in one hit instantly, and it's true damage. So you can kill bosses, you can kill uh, uh, um, Archons, you can kill anything that comes your way, just bomb, gone, dead instantly. Okay, so in order for that ability to trigger, you need to reduce your crit rate and you need to increase your multi shot. So I've got 10.8% chance of that 50% chance going off. Make sense? Great. So the reason why I've gone with silent battery is because I also use this shotgun with some one of my other friends who likes to use stealth. And if you use uh, unsuppressed weapons while stealth, you be, you lose your stealth, namely Avira. Uh -oh. So long story short, 
this is a dual build it works with my avara and it works with my hydrolon build which is what we're doing today now i've gone with a simple primed point blank now you can also swap this these mods out the primed ones with the regular ones you don't have to have the primes i have them because well i have them i've been playing this game for a very long time okay so i do have some mods and some i don't now the reason again i don't make constant warframe content i do play the game i'm a bit of an introvert so i tend to do the missions alone and it's not because i don't like playing with other people it's just the fact that other people just suck i'm sorry but you do and i'm not saying is in your build suck or anything I'm, I'm just saying you get that one player who just speed runs through the mission it's all about efficiency then you get that one player that's like oh what's this oh what's that oh what's this oh what's that oh what's this oh what's that you can tell that they're new players it's like why are you on a steel path mission hello mcfly so long story short you can swap out you don't necessarily have to have the 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 riven mod however if i was to sell this riven mod which i'm not if i was to sell this riven mod i could easily get three four even 5k plat for it okay just because of the neg crit chance yeah and i'm just nah not happening this is why this i uh, say riven disposition of one <laughs> uh, anyway so long story short it's just pure multi-shot uh toxic so we do magnetic we do gas we do slash uh, now the reason why the magnetic again cuts through shields gas again ignores armor and it hurts both the flood and the grenades and and it's just an all-round good direct damage let me ignore your shields and armor build now uh, uh I went with the primary merciless, which is 30% damage for 4 seconds, stacks up to 12 times, reload, again, because the only downside to this shotgun, it only has 6 rounds, and the reload speed is a pain in the in the rear, it really is, uh, so hence I went with that with the reload speed, otherwise I would just go with uh, primary deadhead, which is less recoil, uh, headshot multiplier, and 120% damage, uh, damage for 24 seconds, it stacks up to three times. Trust me, you will be one-shotting Eximus units like they don't exist. But again, this build is not about the weapon. This weapon just actually complements the actual build. So that said, you can use whatever your favorite secondary is. I like Spore Lancer. If you don't know what Spore Lancer is, trust me, just this is my Spore Lancer build uh pretty much it's just again direct damage radiation uh, and corrosive uh the reason why i go to radiation again ignore shields and also uh, uh uh confuses the enemy so they start attacking each other which is kind of cool to if you if you're getting higher up in your survival missions on steel path now melee weapon doesn't really matter i've got soul catcher which is a kit a, a kit gun i made that is designed for one thing and one thing only, Exodia Force. Basically, I build up my combo, jump up, throw the sword, AoE splash, kills everyone. And I really do need to uh, um, upgrade the uh, animosity. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll go with that one. And so, of course, then we're going with the Manduri build. Now, the reason why is physical damage and operator damage is increased by 30%. Hydrolon does not use energy. Hydrolon uses her shields. Okay, so understand that. Her shields are her energy to cast her abilities. So certain builds don't matter. Now, I, I go with the Mandura again because it's a blanket 30% physical and operator damage increase. Physical being your shotgun. Eh? Eh? Good. Now you're with me. Now, that's that build. That's that build. Again, no tail forward shots. No shots. Because you're thinking, well, how, how is this going to do what it does? Now, reason being is... Uh, Nautilus. Now, in this build, and I will pause it here for a second so you can take a screenshot. This is Kengiji's one. However, I've tweaked it a little. In his build, he went with... Um, where is it? 
uh, Regen Prime. I don't have Regen Prime. I don't have it. If you need it, you're doing it wrong. Okay, let me just blatantly say that. If you need it, you're doing it wrong. I've taken Kang's one and just tweaked it a little bit. That's all. Basically, I've put in Assault Mode, Cordon, Shield Charger, Vacuum. Now, let me make this abundantly clear. Wherever you put your ability mods, okay, in the lineup, determines what the draw, what, what your companion does. If I was to put Vacuum up here first and then Assault Mode down there, he won't attack at all, barely. He'll be like, doo, 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 doo. oh, hello. He'll, he'll literally act like Guilty Spark. He won't attack for at least three to four seconds. Okay? But swap it like this. He attacks first, then loots, which is what you want. Now, Cordon, of course, this will pull enemies towards you. Again, this, this all makes sense. Okay? So he attacks, redirects any shield loss to me, Regain shields, manifold bold kicks in. Uh, any any status effects that kills someone uh, with three or more effects, the status reduces the companion's ability cooldown by three seconds. So basically, this is basically put on hold. It's paused. Cordon kicks in. He pulls in enemies. So it goes on a cooldown for 15 seconds. Okay. 10 second cooldown now contagious bond your companion kills an enemy affected with a status effect 50 percent of the status effect gets spread to other enemies within nine meters to a max of 100 stacks okay so i as hydrolon have gone Wah! strip the enemy of all their defenses that's when nautilus goes ooh, beep hits them with the weapon stacks a whole bunch of stuff on them they die it then spreads. Cordon kicks in, pulls excess enemies in, so that they get hit by the stacks. And it just starts to snowball from there. Now, Fired Up gives me an additional 5% heat damage uh, uh, per weapon uh, on the weapon per hit. Stacks up to 100%. Uh, resets after 5 seconds with no hits. So basically, if you're attacking a boss, okay, he will sit there and stack... A hundred flame damage. A hundred, hundred racks of flame damage. There goes your armor. Now your health. Now you're dead. Now, reinforcement bond. This is what I added in. Okay, Kengage's uh, build does not have reinforcement bond. I added it. Now, because the shields on Nautilus will exceed twelve hundred. Okay. My reload rate on my weapon goes up by 60%. Okay. And reloading restores 150 overshields to my companion. My shotgun has six shots. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times 150 goes straight back to him. Which then feeds back into my reload. So, that's an infinite causality loop there. Okay. As long as I'm blasting. All right. Which, as you've seen, is a very powerful weapon. It will drop targets ridiculously quick. So, that's another... But the point is, that's a double feedback. And then you've got Vacuum to do Vacuum's job. Now, let me look at Verglass. I tweaked this one as well. What I mean by that is, this is the base build that you can do. Uh, of course, you can then swap out the Banes. So for me, I'm currently fighting against a lot of Grineers doing the weekly uh, uh, Archon hunt. So you want to throw in Prime Bane of the Grineer. Okay. Thermite rounds, again, heat, viral, viral and heat. That's all you need, viral and heat. Now you can swap this out and throw in a radiation if you really want to uh, 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 be that person. Where are you? I know I've got one. There you go. You can throw in a radiation if you really want to for an extra and lower the heat value damage. Case in point, you can swap it out like this. And now you've got three stacks right there. Boom, 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 boom. Viral, heat, uh, and radiation. 
so you could do it like that in fact you know we'll we'll do one round like that to prove that you can do it all right so what i will do see so i've got them both built see but but okay so we're going to use this one okay now you know nautilus's build you know vegas's build you know my build let's go oh and to prove that there's no archon shards because some people are like, there's archon shards there's there's okay shards none no shards this is a zero shard build okay please understand that there is no shards okay zero shards so clear good Now you could add shards to help make this better. So now I'm going to go here. This one's a defense. Hopefully it's a static defense. If it's a mobile defense, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Because the mobile defense ones are always a pain in the ass. But if it's a static defense one, it should be a lot easier for me. Get this. Oh great. It's a, it, it's Punk. Give him my secondary weapon. Like so. Now what I could do. Oh, I can't call him my Rowjack crew. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hey. Now look at those stacks. Dead. I didn't even fire. There you go. Now. See? I legit am doing nothing. I'm not even freaking out. Now, I could just strip. Dead. 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 That when you are killing, there you go. When you are, when you have the ability to kill targets, there you go. Just like that. You see? And he's dead. Cordon triggers. See, now if this was a static defense, this would be a lot quicker. But notice the green. The green means that they've actually been procced. See? There you go. I could, I could literally just let my companion do all the killing. If I truly wanted to. Now bear in mind. I have no shards. Boosting my strength. Or my shields. No I, I I could. I could pull them off of. Off of other. Frames that I have. But I don't see the point. Because. They have them for a reason. There you go. Okay, dead. Dead. That one low rolled. <laughs> See? I'm not even bothered. But now notice, if you look at the, the Nautilus' shields, it's over 2,000. Okay. Shoot, reload. See? So, he shields... Permanently 
stay up. This is how you know the game is silly when it's trying to use your weapon. There you go. That's the radiation doing its job. But as you can see, I'm not really panicking about this. Not really panicking at all. And I've barely even tapped Zeta's Wisp. There you go. That was Zeta's Wisp. Gone. Dead. No, Chipper, you're fine. Now, unfortunately, I lost my my uh, Nautilus because I dead. Now, let me just. Dead. Dead. I got you, bro. Mm. No, they are not. All right, so Nordless is back up. And all I gotta do is just go this, this, and this. And when you see them glowing green because of the color choice I picked, that's when you know. Boop. See? So yeah, you can do it. You don't necessarily need this incarnate weapon. It can easily do its job. It's just I've chose to pick a specifically hard question, hard map to show you. I mean, yeah, I could take you to the simulacrum and you can watch it do its thing and blah 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 blah. Where's the fun in that? I'd rather do an actual mission where you can see firsthand. See? Oh, the Bartegra. Dead.
There you go. You saw a, you saw a hundred plus stacks. There you go. One shot at him. Got me a riven mod. And believe it or not, you actually lose damage by switching the weapon to incarnate form over time. On average, you will lose damage. But, by and by me. Roger that. And notice I'm doing this by myself. There you go. Stack, 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 dead. <laughs> I just love it. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you thinking, wait, shotguns do damage over time? Yeah, they do. So ask yourself this. What, how much damage can this shotgun do at point blank? <laughs> and it is up there. Don't get me wrong. It, it is up there as one of my favorite weapons. But it is not my favorite. Mm-hmm. Stripped. Dead. Yep, they are, mate. If this was the static defense, this would have been over so much quicker.
Gotcha. There you go. I was shooting it in a... Good. Roger that. See now, one of my friends is 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 Australian, and he's quite upset at the fact that Chipper here doesn't actually. I mean, he's got an Australian accent, but he doesn't exactly have the Australian grammar. He doesn't use the c word not once. Like, come on. So, yeah, sometimes on the, the tougher units, you know, depending on the mission, of course, you will... You will occasionally have to have some fun. But I guess there's a reason why they don't have um, overload for ranged weapons. You know, you do more damage per status effect affecting the enemy because that would just be bloody stupid. Not going to lie. That would be all kinds of broken. They just hate that when the AI is just like, no, nah, I'm good, bruv. I ain't gonna do nothing. Ooh. I love doing that. <laughs> oh, one hand. <laughs> Zulked over 28 sentient cores. 11 all oh, slew of mods. Again, just showing you that you can, in fact, actually do end tier content. You don't necessarily need you don't necessarily need to have the best and the brightest and 100% of everything you you don't now let me go over the hydrolon builds because now some of you are like hey, but how the hell do these shields not, not go down okay first things first this is my hydrolon build Statutory Arcane Barrier, you have to have Arcane Barrier. And then you have to have Arcane Aegeus. Basically, it states every time my shields take damage, I've got X percentage chance that my shields are just going to regen back to 100%. Of course, then a whole bunch of shield recharge mods. Do, 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 do. Glowing Power. On status effect, equipped with a weapon, increase your personal ability strength by 25% for 6 seconds. So, now... I normally run a different weapon than the one I'm using now. I normally run, uh, not the Ferrex, I normally run, uh, where are you? Where'd you go? I normally run Baimatsu. Now, Baimatsu, as you know, if you may not know, I've had Baimatsu when it first came out when I did the original missions and unlocked Baimatsu. Um, 
it is a static monster. It will lay down 10 plus stacks of whatever you set it up for easily. I have seen some Bematsu builds at 150 something percent state status chance. So stacking that with the the aura mod I've got means my power strips instantly. Again, another constant feedback loop. But because I'm taking on an Archon, I really can't take by Matsu. Um, you know what? I'm going to. So what I'll do is I'll take my by Matsu. Okay, this is my Baimatsu build, Primary Merciless, again, for the reload speed. We've got Galvanized Chamber for the multi-shot. Okay, no Riven. No Riven. I don't even think, think I've got a Riven for this gun. See, no Riven. Okay. Galvanized out Amplitude, status percent chance, 45% stacks. And that, now, 40% direct damage stacks. So gas, radiation, electricity stacks directly onto the target. Okay. Serration, uh, uh, uh. every time I crit, because I do believe I've got a 45% critical chance, yeah. 45% critical chance um, is not that bad. Uh, it, it's not that bad at all. See, and I've got 80% status chance, 87% status chance. I'm going to hit you with one of these. 45% crit chance, so that includes bleed. Bleed is another direct damage stack. It ignores your armor. There you go. So that's that build. Okay. So that Baimatsu builds into glowing power, which builds into my power strength. So when I do hit that, it shoots up to a a, a, a solid 100% drain. Gone. Okay. So we are going to try and take on the Archon. Now, normally I would do this with a different frame. I would do it with my um, Navara and use her stealth. But we're going to go going guns blazing, if you will. Now, this video is already running a little bit long. So if I cut it short. Now, yes, you saw that fire rate is ridiculously fast. And then Zeta's Wisp, more direct damage. Again, that's the radiation. Now I could, you know, aim for the face. Gone. Just stripped. There you go. He was fully armored, that one. There is Wisp. But you see where it works now. Later's Wisp. Look at those stacks. You are legit just letting the status do its job.
And see, radiation's doing its job, causing chaos. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Bait is wisp. You'll know when Zeta's wisp has affected him. Come on. Okay, he's dead. I'm stuck. Thank you. Gotta love the stupid tile sets. Okay, Nautilus is down. Here we go. Yeah, so this little cinematic thing. See? And this is just Hydrolon. You can technically do it with regular Hydrolon. You don't necessarily need Hydrolon Prime. Um, what she has over the regular... What um, one of the the differences between the the regular and the prime is prime just gets some more shields and a little bit more armor. Oh, and a different Larry slots, but you can do it. You can do it, guys. Okay, I believe in you. Don't need hundreds of thousands of plat worth of gear to, to play Endgame. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know it's fun and all, you know. Because at the end of the day, the game is about having fun. I don't understand why people worry about those fan things. You can just jump right over them. <laughs>
There you go. Keep forgetting that in order for you to defeat certain computer, what is the notification? Three. Sorry about that guys, I'm actually waiting on a package to be delivered to me and as you can see we are somewhat face planting and tanking the majority of the damage there shield still holding just fine, Nautilus is doing just fine now this build doesn't do so well against um, the Flood, the Corrupted, the, the Zerg, whatever you want to call them. Reason being is because, as I said, they don't have conventional shields or conventional armor. And yes, I'm choosing to ignore the majority of these mobs. I don't need to take them out. Dead. And as long as you remember to burst fire the Baimatsu, because Baimatsu's got very limited um, ammo count. Now, you used to be able to bug Baimatsu out and um, make it have an infinite ammo count kind of thing, but, but they fixed that. That was when the gun first came out. They fixed that in a heartbeat. Good. Oh no, I'm on fire. There you go. Not on fire anymore. Again, none of these guys are crucial to me completing the mission so until we are strong sorry he got turned into a weapon well everything gets turned into a weapon in Warframe so it's all good. I mean, some of the best, most powerfulest Warframes are frames that are technically healers. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Trinity. <laughs> uh. I'm pretty sure a lot of Trinity players are like, yep, yep, wait, yep, yep, he's giving Trinity a do. Yeah, Trinity is... is do her do. And so, it's a simple build, guys. It works. It's got a lot of causality loops. If you don't, if you know what a causality loop is, uh, then we can be friends. Come on. Are you done? Uh.
Thank you, Nautilus. Dead. Come on. Like I said, if I had my shotgun with me earlier, I showed you earlier, this would be already over. Of course. Dead. Come on. Turn that on. And back on. <sighs> Done. Keep forgetting you can do that. Yeah, you can always tell when Nautilus goes down. Dead. I needed. Thank you, Nautilus. One, two, three. Of course not this is down again. But 
I'm comfortably handling. Got permanent stack of bleed, permanent stack of confusion, permanent stack of toxin. So basically what we're doing is we are summoning as, as he keeps summoning minions, we are using said minions Thank you And thank you. Sweet. All you got to do is stack a couple of Hits of uh, radiation on them. And you just let them destroy themselves while you get out of there. Because the mission's over now. We've literally done an Archon hunt by ourselves. There you go. And we got an Azure Archon Shard. We literally just got a shard. We're doing all of that by ourselves. We've not so meta weapons. Not so meta gear 
and even using a frame by all standards and measurements shouldn't be able to do it but you saw it yourself we tanked a few hits and we came out smelling roses now I could come here and to prove it we'll go to Archon shards and there it is Elf, shield capacity, energy, armor, or health. See? We did it. We got we got a nice little Archon shard. By ourselves. Same frame. For all three missions. Exterminate. Defense. And then the Archon. So, if I can do it, and I'm not the best at it at all, if I can do it, you can do it too. Okay, guys? So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment, bloop bloop, down below. And uh, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Now, bear in mind, Warframe is not my, my, my go-to game that I play and, and do most content on. But sometimes I will do builds where I think it would help the community. And uh, so, yeah. Consider this a somewhat build on a budget. Um, if you want to see any more builds uh, on Warframes, uh, just let me know. I have quite... I wouldn't say I have every Warframe, but I have a lot of Primes. Um, mostly because I think that the Primes aesthetically look better than the normal. As well as... Uh, they just... They, they play more fun, you know? Anyway, till then guys, keep shows flying. Keep the enemies dying. Cable Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.